Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States What, we have a 2011 Toyota Tundra with a 4.6 liter V8 engine. What are we doing today? Well, this here battery, it failed with no flying colors. This battery is Gugats. We're also going to perform a throttle body service. Well, let's get into it. Engine cover off. Disconnect this guy right here. Disconnect this guy right here. We're gonna take this vacuum line off right here. You know what? Let's let's get a little light on. Let's see. Pinch this off here. See that guy there. And then we'll just take this whole box out. More clips. That way we can just do this. Boom. And now we have access to our throttle body. Alright guys, here we are at the throttle body. We do have the battery disconnected uh, because we are changing the battery but I remember a few people saying in the comments that not to do the throttle body service with the battery dis with the battery connected because you can cause damage or yada 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 so it just worked out that way. We're replacing the battery, battery's disconnected. You could do that if you want or not. Just make sure the key is off. Make sure the ignition is off 100%. So now what we do is we're not going to actually spray stuff in here at the moment. We're just going to spray some of our cleaner on a rag. And then uh, what we do is we're just going to get up in there and you can see how there's that carbon ring. You see that little line I just caused? All that black crap right there is carbon and it's on the edge of the butterfly valve as well. Now what that can cause is a low idle. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to clean the whole area up to make sure it's clean and air can pass, flu pass through very good and uh, after we replace that battery we're going to hook up our scan tool, the factory scan tool, and we're going to perform a throttle body relearn just in case. But first we're going to start the car up and we're going to see if we actually do need it. So let's continue and clean that throttle body out. Now some people use a wire brush. If you're going to use a wire brush, make sure it's a brass wire brush because you don't want to damage or score the throttle body housing at all. Don't forget to get the edges here. Yeah, you see how clean that is now? It's nice and shiny. Now, you're not going to be able to get everything clean on this, but you want it as clean as possible while you're doing it and try and clean both sides of the valve. Very good. Very good ladies and gentlemen. Our throttle body is clean on both sides. The body itself, the housing, is clean. The edges of the butterfly, as you can see it's nice and shiny, it is clean as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install the air box back we're going to get that battery out. Very good. Right oh, I noticed that this vacuum line is, belongs on this side. Huh. Interesting. Some Goomba must have put it in the wrong position. This guy here, that guy there, we have our mass airflow sensor right there, right there, make sure that's on all the way there. We're going to leave this loose for a reason. We still have another portion of this throttle body service. 
but we can put this guy back on here and we can put this guy back on right there very good all right let's get this battery out there we go we got that terminal loose Get as much of that corrosion out as possible without breathing it in. Let's get the old reamer out. What are you saying? Go get this one. Let me see, I think I got some acid cleaner on the bench over there. I gotta go find it. I might have some, let's see. Either way, those are kind of clean. Let's see if we can get them a little cleaner. All right, you know what I could do? I could take this guy out and clean that too. Maybe get the vat, oh, 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 oh. That's, 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 we need that, that's important. Let's get this out without dropping all that crap off of it. Very good. Oh, they got some flavor in this battery tray area. Whatever. Alright, so this stuff here should eat the acid. Let that sit for a little bit. We'll get this guy too. Yep, foam's up. If it's foaming, you know it's working. And on some of the really bad terminals with a lot of corrosion, that yellow foam will actually turn a purplish blue color while it's eating the acid. It actually dissolves the acid. These terminals are not that bad, but uh, yeah, we've had some really bad ones before. All aboard. All right. All right. We're in. All right, let's get our hold down in. There's one. There's our second right there. Looks like we're still on the bus, still on the struggle bus. Come on. Always have your nut ready to go. Alright, hold that up so you don't lose where it is on the bottom, the mounting position. Gain my socket back. Very good, let's get those terminals installed. Big tip of the video guys, whenever you're doing a battery, you remove the negative first and you install the positive first. Always install the positive terminal first. Say it with me, install the positive terminal first. And then you install the negative. The negative guy, you, you, just, you just put down with authority. Tighten it up not too tight. You don't want to overstretch the terminal end. Give it a little wiggle. Give it a little wiggle. Then we're going to spray some protectant spray on there to prevent some corrosion from happening in the first place. Come on that. And you know, I like to put some on this guy too just because it likes to develop corrosion on it. Very good. 
let that smoke clear a little bit and we'll start this car up all right so what we're going to do here is an initial start of the vehicle what we're going to hear is we're going to hear a very very high idle so let's get it contact Alright guys, so right now we're idling about 13 to 1400 RPMs. We're going to let the vehicle get a little warm and see how low it drops. If it doesn't drop low enough, we're going to perform a throttle body relearn. So yeah, we're going to let it run for a little bit. We may even just road test it and after that we'll see where the idle is. If I like where it is, just under a thousand, between 750 to 850 in that general area, we should be good. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Here's another portion of the service. It does come with a fuel additive. Very good. Make sure that's tight. You don't want to set an unnecessary check engine light for a uh, evap code so guys the other part of the service the third and final step is we actually while the vehicle is running we stick this jet in there and we periodically spray this can into the intake while it's running therefore it goes throughout the intake and through all the runners into each cylinder and we have the fuel injector cleaner in the fuel tank so we're actually doing a full system cleaning very good so let's start this engine up and get the service done all right we're running guys and now a little spray here a little spray there you may hear the idle dip down a little bit when you put a little too much sauce in there there's always too much but you never want to get lost in the sauce Yeah, you see how the idle dipped down a little bit now that the car is getting warmer? I think the road test is going to go very well after this and the customer is going to be happy. They're going to notice an improved throttle response and the car is not going to have a freaking slow crank with the brand new battery in there. Very good. Now, I won't really recommend this on new vehicles. It takes a while for that carbon buildup to actually build up in the throttle body. But it is a very good service. The customer will 100% notice a difference in the throttle response. You may even notice a little change in gas mileage. All right, very good guys. Let's finish this service, let it run, and then we're gonna go on a road test and see how everything went. Well, all right guys, we are back from our road test and listen to that beautiful, sweet idle. It's idling perfect. Let's, let's go take a look at that cluster. Our cluster, we are idling at, I wanna say 750-ish. And that's beautiful. That's right where we need to be. Right where we need to be. Road test went well. We did set a check engine light for misfires because when we were spraying that Gugatsu throttle body, uh, we did set some uh, misfire codes. But before I went on my road test, we cleared everything. Drove it, just came back, did our triple checks. And as you can hear, it sounds beautiful. Rescanned it, no codes, no nothing very good guys if you don't know what to do yet please like subscribe hit that bell notification for further content